India and China are the two most populated countries in the world. Located in South Asia, India is the seventh largest country by area and it's the second most populous country. China sits at number one in terms of population and both countries house a third of the world's total population. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. This is another which is better episode. India and China, it's gonna be real exciting. And before we get into this episode, guys, I wanna know, India or China, which country is better? Let me know down below. So we just talked a little bit about population in the intro of this video, and India's population totals 1.34 billion people, and it's the second most populated country in the world, and the population density sits at 450 people per square kilometer. Now in China, the population is at 1.4 billion people with a population density of 150 people per square kilometer. In terms of land size area, India sits at 3.287 million square kilometers, which is equal to 1.26 square miles. And China is at 9.5 million square kilometers, which is 3.7 square miles. And now, since we got that out of the way now, I wanna move on to life expectancy in both of these countries. In India, it's at 68.5 years, for males at 67.3 years, and for females at 69.8 years. And the total life expectancy in China is 76.1 years, with females being at 78.1, and the males being at 74.1 years. So they got a few years above India there. Let's take a look at the religion now from these two countries. So in India, there's no favoritism by the state given to any sort of religion at all. However, neither India's constitution or its laws define any kind of relationship between religion and the state. So it's kind of unclear where India sits, but for the most part, they're considered a secular nation. But when we get into the specifics of what religions people follow in India, 80% of the people follow Hindu, and in terms of religion in China, the folk religion is at 73.56% of people, Buddhism is at 15%, and Christianity sits at 2.53% in China. So we knew these nations are big, they're powerful, and they have a lot of people in them. But what sort of money are they dealing with? The GDP in India is 9.489 trillion US dollars and in China that number is 23.12 trillion dollars and that works out to be $16,624 per capita. The currency that China uses is the renminbi and India uses the Indian rupee. India's national debt works out to be 1.09 trillion US dollars. Interest per year is at 71.9 billion US dollars, which works out to be $2,282 per second of interest. Now, China's debt totals at 4.6 trillion US dollars, and the interest on that debt is $153.6 billion per year, which is $4,873 per second of interest. Now, when you look at China and you take the population of 1.4 billion people, and if you divide the total debt by the population amount, the total debt per person is a little over 3,000 US dollars. And if you were to take dollar bills and stack them up on top of each other with that amount of debt, it would pile up to be 506,515 kilometers high. And that works out to be 1.32 trips to the moon. Okay, now this is probably one of my favorite parts in these which is better episodes for countries when I match up the military power. China is one of the most powerful countries. They rank third place in the world and their available manpower is 750 million with a total military personnel of 3.7 million people. In terms of aircraft, they have 2,955. They have 6,457 combat tanks and 1,770 rocket projectors. China has 69 submarines in their Navy, 51 frigates, 35 destroyers, 35 corvettes, but only one aircraft carrier. And the labor force in China is completely off the charts. Like, it's so huge. 805,900,000 people. Now, moving on to India. So, India has the third largest military in the world in terms of active frontline personnel. So, not the most powerful, just the largest. But when you put them on the scale of global military power, they rank fourth. 
India's total defense budget sits at $53.5 billion, but that's gonna go way up. India's Ministry of Defense says India will need $233 billion to meet its arms and equipment requirements in 11 years. So that's gonna be more than triple what they're spending now on their military. But either way, India still is an advantage because in late 2016, India completed its nuclear triad by adding a strategic nuclear submarine, INS Air in Hand, in its military. India has become one of the only countries to do this. And if you're not familiar with the term nuclear triad, well, that refers to a country's ability to launch nuclear warheads from the land, the sky, as well as from the sea. Now, when we look at their film and entertainment industry, Bollywood in India is, of course, a large part of the cinema in India. In 2016, last year, Bollywood earned $2.4 billion US. Cinema in China was introduced back in 1896. And China is the home of the largest movie and drama production complex and film studios in the entire world. The Oriental Movie Metropolis and the Hengdian World Studios. And in 2010, it had the third largest film industry by the number of feature films produced in one year. In 2016, the total box office earnings in China was $6.58 billion US. But with crossover and collaboration with Bollywood and Hollywood happening a lot more frequently, Indian cinema is also a lot more in the limelight than Chinese cinema. Now, when we go back in history and take a look at some of the inventions and contributions by the Chinese, we see that China has contributed a lot to science and technology. Like some amazing achievements by the Chinese include the compass, paper making, the gunpowder, printing, and yeah, these discoveries, just naming a few of them, had a huge impact on all the cultures throughout the world. But India has also had some amazing discoveries and inventions throughout their history as well. Like the invention of shampoo started in India. As well as in the year 1780, we saw the first inventions of rockets started in India as well. And also these things right here, I don't know if you can see, but like this thing here, the button on my shirt, yeah, buttons were also invented in India first. So there you go, guys. That was your side-by-side -side comparison with these two giant powerhouse of countries, China and India. But before I get out of here, you need to check out our Facts About India video series where we dive deeper into the history and culture of India. We also have two dedicated videos on Chinese history and culture as well that you can check out. The links are down below to those videos. Of course, we couldn't fit all the information about India and China in this video, so we do have dedicated videos. I highly recommend watching them. Again, the links to those videos are down below and learn more about the history and culture of India as well as the history and culture of China. In closing, although tensions surrounding the so-called line of actual control, which separates India from China, has really increased in recent days, there has really been no extreme attacks from either sides because of this. China and India have both historically been and perhaps can still be seen as the centers of civilization in Asia. Up in Northeast Asia and some Southeast Asian countries historically are influenced by Chinese culture and that can easily be seen. Similarly, Indian culture could be traced in many South and Southeast Asian countries. Don't forget guys, you can follow me on Instagram. Of course, link to that is in the video description. And of course, let me know before you leave, what country do you think is better? India or China? Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out more of our Which Is Better episodes. We have a playlist here with all of those videos for you. And don't miss our India and China facts videos. You guys have been awesome and I'll see you real soon in another video.